Oke, okay, uh, assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sore, salam, salam, selamat siang, salam sejahtera buat kita semua, uh, Bapak Ibu peserta. Uh, hari ini kita akan masuk ke materi kelima, yaitu tentang constructing knowledge with CK12. Uh, jadi untuk uh, informasi sedikit bahwa ini kita kedatangan tamu dari uh, Filipina, kebetulan uh, rekan saya di Ocean Network di uh, Erasmus Global. Jadi beliau juga kebetulan adalah doktor untuk jurusan education, jurusan pendidikan dan saya izin menyampaikan sedikit biodata beliau. Jadi beliau saat ini berdomisili di Manila, Filipina. Uh, bachelor degree-nya dari jurusan Mathematics di NCL University. Lalu untuk S2 program Erasmus Mobility with Asia program di Universidad de, de Evora in Portugal. Lalu yang terakhir adalah Doctor of Education degree jurusan Innovative Educational Management dari University of Makati. And sekarang uh, beliau mengabdikan diri di uh, Children International di non-profit organization untuk mensupport anak-anak uh, khususnya pendidikan. Oke, okay, uh, saya Panggil beliau, silahkan Mr. Kenny. Oke, okay, Mr. Hello. Kenny, how is it going? Hi, is it good? good afternoon everyone. Yes, yes, yes. How, how do you say it in Indonesian? Uh, selamat siang. Yes, so selamat everyone. siang Indonesia. Yes, <laughs> yes. selamat siang. <laughs> uh, selamat siang Mr. Kenny or Dr. Kenny. So basically our participants using Indonesian language so I'm gonna translate I'm gonna include uh, conclude some of the information in English and also in Indonesia Indonesian language okay okay uh, so basically the comment will be uh, on the screen I'm gonna click one by one so if there is a question in Indonesian I'm gonna try to translate to in English So time is yours right now. Thank you, Mr. Kenny, for your uh, participation. Your time is yours. All now. right. Okay. So once again, thank you very much, Rida, for inviting me in this uh, virtual education academy session. So I, um, if I'm not mistaken, this is the fifth episode, right, for virtual uh, education academy three, and it's a pleasure to speak in in front of indonesian teachers and it's uh, this is actually my first time to uh, discuss um education concepts and also my passion about education and what i uh, saw as a very uh, highly valuable platform especially for us teachers who are doing online learning amidst this uh covid 19 pandemic so um If I may ask uh, for my slides to be flashed on screen already. So uh, for our viewers on YouTube, please do not hesitate to uh, write your questions or to ask questions as I go through the discussion this afternoon. So um, the title of this presentation is Constructing Knowledge with CK12. So from the uh, title of this um, session, we'll see how this particular platform called CK12 is going to help us get through all those uh, challenges that we have amid the, the pandemic that we are going through, amidst all this, um, as they say, the buzz of online learning and blended learning, especially that we are still struggling and having uh, difficulty in managing online classes. It's not easy to be working at home and, you know, teaching everything online but uh we'll see how um the ck12 platform will be able to help us in order to get through this trying times uh in education so let me all right so as you can see as you can notice in the caption below i wrote there letting kids be kids now it's Uh, if you can still guys remember our classroom experience uh, before the pandemic happened, we understand and we already acknowledge the fact that the learning is quite a, a highly dynamic and complex process, right? And uh, sometimes as adults, 
we tend to forget that the people we are dealing with are actually kids, right? So sometimes uh, we impose certain requirements, we impose certain standards, and of course, these standards are in line with the subject matter that we're teaching. But there are things that sometimes we forget to remember that kids are still at that age where they are learning, where they are trying to explore, where they are trying to make connections between uh, their prior experience, I mean to say those that they gain outside the, the classroom, and the ones that they learn, the abstract concepts, for that matter, uh, that we teach to them. So in this uh, session, uh, we'll be looking at revisiting some theoretical underpinnings. And then I will be introducing you all to CK12 and its features and some CK12 tools that will be useful to everyone. Um, yeah, we'll, that will be very useful for everyone who's doing online learning. So let's start with the uh, with this one, constructivism, this theory on constructivism. I, I believe that all of us teachers are already um are already familiar with this concept, right? And constructivism. <coughs> And constructivism is something that many schools really would like to promote, right? Um, back in the apologies, <laughs> so uh, when I was in elementary. Sometime in the 90s, uh, I, I can still remember how um, our classrooms are, or our classes are being conducted. Most of the time, it's really teacher-centered. Um, and I think for major, uh, for for the most parts up until now, even even though that technology has advanced already, and there are a lot of means on how we can allow students to build and construct their own knowledge, construct their understanding, and of course, with the guidance of the teachers, there are still those um, barriers that are, I would say, are still present at this time because of the, the paradigm or the, the mindset that some teachers have. And back in the day, when I was in elementary, I can still remember how teacher-centered the classes were. Uh, for example, I, I get to sit in a math class and the teacher writes um, all of the concepts on the board that we are asked to write. And then all of a sudden, the teacher, um, for a brief moment, gives five-minute discussions on certain concepts. And then we are asked to write again a different set of uh, lesson. And then the same cycle continues. So it's really uh, the classes that time were really not centered on how us learners would be able to get a good grasp of the concept being taught to us. Now, in constructivism, what, the, what this theory wants to happen is that, or wants to tell us, and what, what this theory teaches us is that, Learners construct new understandings and knowledge through experience and by interacting and integrating new knowledge, uh, prior knowledge, sorry, and new events. Now, if if you if you notice that term there, construct, if you are in a class where the teacher provides everything, there seems to be no or there's seem there seems to be a very limited room. For learners to construct their understanding and knowledge on the topic. How? Because most of those things are just being transmitted by the adult in the classroom to the kids, right? I'm not sure how, uh, what's the state or how it's done or what's the current uh, landscape of the education, um, the education system in the in Indonesia, but I believe we, even if we are of different contexts particularly in South, Southeast Asia, that is still, uh, I would say, a prevalent um, thing, a prevalent situation. Now, in constructivism, if, you think, if we think about what it tries to achieve, it's just basically telling us that we let kids be kids. Now, if we observe how 
kids are at home, they're highly curious. Very curious to the point that they they tend to forget the the consequences of their actions. But then at the end of whatever that um, choice that they're creating, they are actually able to gain uh, knowledge from those experiences. Now, if we relate it into our um, into our classroom setup, our kids actually learn things not outside the classroom. And if we try to inject or if we try to teach them new concepts, especially those abstract ones, learners need to be able to interact properly with their prior knowledge and with these new things that we are able to, uh, that we are teaching them. And our role is very important in such a manner that we must be able to guide them on how they should be able to integrate and form these new understandings and knowledge. So, let's take a quick look at the foundations of constructivist theory, the classic views on knowledge construction. So, if we talk about constructivist theory, we can't uh, like we can't escape this person, <laughs> who's one of the uh, foundations as we we know already jean piaget according to jean piaget learners construct knowledge or if if we take it into a general context now humans construct knowledge through the interaction between their experience and ideas now in piaget's theory of constructivism it impacts the learning curriculum because teachers have to make a, a plan which enhances uh students' logical and conceptual growth. Now, remember that in uh, Piaget's point of view is that people produce knowledge and form meaning based upon their experiences. And with his theory comes two of the key components which create the construction of an individual's new knowledge, which are the so-called assimilation and accommodation. Now, when we talk about assimilation, Assimilating causes an individual to incorporate new experiences into old experiences. So what does this, um, what, what happens then when, uh, when an individual does this? This now causes the individual to create or to establish or to develop new perspectives, be able to rethink what were once a misunderstanding, and evaluate what is important and ultimately changing their perceptions. So, for example, previously you have this particular concept of what this thing is. But then as you gain more experience or as you gain, uh, as you are able to go through um, the various experiences that you have, you get to assimilate these new things that you learn uh, about that particular thing. And then it changes now your perspective, your understanding of what that thing is all about. Now, in accommodation, it is about reframing the world and new experiences into the mental capacity already present. So individuals conceive a particular fashion in which the world operates. And when things do not operate within that context, they must accommodate and reframe the expectations with those outcomes. Now, again, so these two things that we learn from Piaget, assimilation and accommodation, are the two processes that allows us to be able to construct knowledge depending on the experiences that we have uh, and the experiences that we gain and the new things that we learn along the way. Moving on. This person, you, we cannot also go away or... Um, Sorry, we cannot uh, escape this person when we talk about constructivist theory. So we have here Lev Vygotsky. And Lev Vygotsky, uh, for Lev Vygotsky, students learn best through interacting with others. So th there is now the social component of learning. Through the process of working with others, learners create an environment of shared meanings with peers. And in this, um, and in Vygotsky's point of view, Culture plays a large role in cognitive development or how a person develops his knowledge on things. 
And uh, in this instance, two of the things that we can learn from his uh, from his understanding or from his theory of constructivism are scaffolding and the zone of proximal development. So what is this scaffolding all about? Scaffolding is a method by which a teacher offers a particular kind of support to students as they learn and develop a new concept or skill. Now, in this method, the teacher shares information or new information and demonstrate how problems are being solved in a gradual manner until such time that the students are able to practice it on their own. And before students are... Um, before students become completely independent, there is that structured support or the so-called scaffolding in place in order for um, kids or in order for learners to reach that particular level where they can already do the task or do the activity on their own. Now, in this scaffolding process, there is this so-called gradual release of responsibility, right? So at first, it's the teacher who holds everything until such time that uh, in, in, along the process, the responsibility of taking one's learning in their own hands is now gradually transferred to the student or students and also making use of the, of the environment, meaning to say the peers, to be able to help each other out in constructing that kind of knowledge. Now, this... Uh, if I'm not sure if you, uh, I think many of you will be familiar that this process is sometimes um, referred to as I do, we do, and you do. In other words, the teacher shows until later on uh, the group, uh, the class is able to do the task together until such time that the student, the individual on his or her own is able to do the task uh, independently. Now, in this, from the scaffolding, uh, from this, hang on. Now, in this uh, scaffolding process comes the so-called zone of proximal development. So, um, hang on. So in this uh, zone of proximal development, there is now this idea where the um, where a student uh, in a in a particular task needs to be provided with the appropriate assistance in order for the student to boost or to to get that push to achieve the task. So basically, um, it is important for the teacher to be able to understand where the zone of development or the ZPD of uh, the child in order to assist the child um, to, to properly interact with the material that he or she is learning. All right. And next, the last person that we will be talking about today is John Dewey. Where for John Dewey, learning is a social activity and it is something that we do together. So as you can see, uh, in for John Dewey, it's not just something. Uh, his work actually. Um, Yeah, uh, for, for John Dewey, his work is also integrating or incorporating the concept of the social, uh, the, the importance of social activity in order for an individual um, to, to gain or to construct knowledge. So again, learning is a social activity and it is something we do together in interaction with each other rather than an abstract concept. Now, in do we emphasize actually the uh, the emphasis? Do we has placed emphasis on inquiry sustaining learning, which is um, developed best by ensuring that there is a synthesis of environment. So in this instance, many teachers are uh, at the time. Um, sorry.
So uh, for, for Dewey, there is a premium on meaningful activity in learning and participation in the classroom. So for, um, for him, curriculum is much more relevant to the student, students' lives if there is a um, if if learning is done by doing and there's development of practical life skills, uh, yeah. Right. So those three um, are. Yeah, so as we can see here, these three individuals are really the foundation, uh, the, the foundations of the who were who were who gave us the that underpinning or that strong um, understanding of how a classroom should be and how we ought to teach our. I mean, how we develop our uh, our classes, our lessons, etc. Now, moving on. As you can see from the three, uh, the three pre uh, the presentation of the three classic views that were later uh, that were earlier discussed, we see here that in co in constructivism, we have to remember that the three components of learning must be able to interact properly together. So we need to say. The teacher must be able to come up with lessons that are um, within the context of the learner, be able to guide the students or the learners in such a manner that uh, it is within their um, zone where they can actually uh, understand the material properly. So basically, there is this interaction between the three major components of learning, which is the teacher, the learner, and the content. Now, with all of these things, the bottom line is our lessons need to be learner-centered. And it should be in such a manner that our kids are still being allowed to be themselves as kids whilst they are constructing the knowledge that we are trying to teach them. No? Now, with all these things, how do we do all, how do we still have or maintain a student-centered approach or student-centered um, uh, learning environment Given that we are in a pandemic and we are doing this on uh, an online learning seems the only way to go. Now we uh, we know that we have limited mobility because of the restrictions that are in place in our respective areas, but is it going to be difficult for us to still manage our classes? And be able to uh, be able to maintain a student-centered approach in online learning. Now, at this point in time, I'd like to introduce to you this platform called CK12. So, what is CK12? CK12 is actually an online learning platform which utilizes interactive media to teach students in subject areas like English, math, and science. So, this website, this platform is essentially transforming textbook into multimedia experience. Now, what are the resources that CK12 has to offer? So these are the things that are actually found on the website. So we have first, we have the Flexbook 2.0 platform. Uh, it offers an interactive, integrated, and insightful functionality enabling a student's personalized journey. Second is CK12 offers concept-based learning wherein there is a wide variety of STEM content allowing students to learn it their way and teachers to teach it their way. Meaning to say, the content will be uh, is adaptive to what students or what concepts are kids or students having a, 
hard time or a difficulty with and students can actually interact and um, learn content in a manner that is adaptive to where they are at the moment and also uh, with their current skill level and the concepts that are uh, found in CK12 are uh, follows a particular curriculum and teachers can actually um, move around the concepts find a best curriculum plan for their classroom and be able to teach it in uh, in their style and their approach now third there is this so-called adaptive practice in ck12 where um short um practices are, well it's not actually that short but there there is this um practice sets where students can learn in a way that uh allows them to pick the pace of their own learning be able to um, understand the concept uh, or rather be able to um, measure or evaluate or self or assess themselves in a particular content and it actually will uh, and the practice sets uh, the questions that the that ck12 has is adaptive to the current skill level and current conceptual understanding of the of the student and it uses machine learning for students practice uh, in, or, in order to learn and be able to fill in their knowledge gaps now in CK12 it also has flex interactives and simulations where students are able to experience concepts in a new exciting way where concepts come alive as students explore and interact with them so basically you don't for example if you are going to uh, discover or say experiment a particular graphing uh, concept in math you don't have to go outside the platform because it's already there it will already allow the students to interact with the concepts and be able to find new meanings within the concept and we also have the lms integration i think this is very useful uh, for everyone at this time because uh, of online learning we want to ensure that we are able to keep track uh, that we are still able to continue and keep track with the progress of our um, students we don't want uh, we uh, since we value evaluation and feedback we allow or ck12 rather has this L learning management system integration wherein ck12 can uh monitors already the progress of the child and this particular system can be integrated in various uh websites as well then we have these assignments where teachers are able to assign and monitor student learning and progress where also they can set up for the entire class or differentiated groups to get students the personalized content that they need so as you can see here CK12 very much follows that constructivist uh, theory that we that we all are um, trying to do in our classroom, because the the content teachers can um, can rearrange it in such a manner that it fits the current needs of your uh, of your class or of the various groups that you have in your class, and lastly. CK12 also has this cafe forums where uh, teachers and students alike has a place for the community to share their thoughts and get advice and get, you know, help, extra help, additional help from the members of the, the community. So from students getting help on homework to teachers sharing about the classroom and these forums are all about ideas. So now, uh, so this one here, as you can see, this is the um, the interface of CK12. So later on, uh, we'll be now nah, okay. All right, so we'll now be taking a tour, a quick tour of the the platform, so that so that I'll be able to share to you how the how CK12 looks like and how are you guys able, uh, will be able to utilize this particular platform. So let me just share my screen again. All right, so here, 
So give me a second. All right. So if you guys are in your uh, in your browser, all you have to do is simply go to the website ck12.org. Oops. So this is a live tour of the platform. So bear with me for a bit. So if you type in ck12.org on your web browser, it will actually lead you automatically to the student um, platform. So, uh, but for everyone, you have to make sure that you, uh, since we all here are teachers and we want to come up with our uh, account as teachers, then we have to ensure that we are using the teacher version of the platform. So as you can see, there is a teacher, uh, a, teach, a platform for teachers and a platform for your students. Now, even if they are not um, part or let's say, for example, that there are kids who just want to learn uh, new stuff in math, new stuff in science, and even in English and some other special subjects that CK12 has to offer, they can just simply go to the website and um, join a student. Now, on this website, so as you can see, it's in right now it's in Indonesian, but the standard interface of this one is in English. So, so how did I transform the website into um, a to the Indonesian language? So all I have to do is simply go scroll at the very bottom, and you will find there the the Google Translate portion so that the website can now be translated into uh, Indonesian. But I'm going to revert back first to English so that I'd be able to navigate the website properly. All right. All right. So here, um, we are already in the teacher interface of the platform. So all you have to do is um, click here, join, so that you'd be able to uh, create your own account. Just a caveat for everyone on uh, our webinar this afternoon. Please note that uh, CK12 offers also a professional development program called the Certified Educator Program. Now, the Certified Educator Program, I was able to participate in their 2019 and 2020 uh, edition. And um, just so you know, when I check the alumni portal, there are actually only two Indonesian teachers who belong or who are part of the CK12 um, Certified Educator Program. So if you are interested in using this website, I suggest, I highly suggest that you keep track of, uh, you join the website, you log, uh, you sign up on this website and check out the, certifi uh, the Certified Educator Program that they might offer sometime soon. So going back to the platform, so we have here, all we have to do is click uh, so there are options that you can choose when you sign up. So first, you can use your Google account if you have. You can also uh, sign up with your Facebook account or you can sign up with your email if you're using other platforms that say, for example, Yahoo, Hotmail, etc. So in this case, uh, I will not be signing up because I already have accounts. So I will just sign in and I will... Um, I will show you guys what's inside the CK12 platform so that you know and you can check later on what are the nice things or the great things that are uh, the tools rather that are useful in your context and in your current uh, classroom setup. So here I'm already on my profile. So the first thing that you will see here is your dashboard. So on the dashboard, you will find... It's basically uh, some recommended subjects, standards aligned flexbooks and concept map. So take note that flexbooks are actually the term used by uh, is the term used by CK12, uh, referring to the books that they have. So in your uh, in your dashboard, you will see here on top, dashboard classes, library subjects, and explore. So if you hover your mouse in classes and click classes, it will actually lead you to 
the groups that you have created for your um for your class or for your subject matter or for your school for that matter so in this um page here you will see that uh, i have already created certain subject uh, sorry classes for for my uh, for my program because in in my current workplace at children international we offer the tutoring program for uh, kids from grades four up until uh, high school. So what we offer are uh, tutor, uh, our tutoring programs for math and also for reading and uh, for writing and grammar. So here are some of the classes that are currently ongoing. And uh, let me just show you um, the hidden classes because we, I have been utilizing this platform for quite some time already here. So as you can see, I there are we have gr for grade seven math, we have for grade nine math, and sometimes you can actually create a group for for adults. Uh, let's say for example, if you're going to have some professional development in your um, school where you would like to utilize the CK twelve, you can actually create also a class for for adults. All right, so yeah, now. You might be wondering how do you create a group or how do you create a class in in ck12 so since we're already in the classes page all you have to do is simply click this plus here and then you can either join a class if someone else has created a class already or you can create your own or connect a class that you already have so there that's how simple it is for example this one uh, if you would like to create a new class on CK12, all you have to do is create a class. And if you want the resources to be linked to another, to other LMS platforms, as you can see here, CK12 is compatible with Google Classroom, Canvas, and School, uh, Schoology there. And mind you guys, uh, CK12 is evolving and... Um, if you have feedback or some suggestions that you would like to uh, seek it, uh, later on, if you are interested in using CK12, you can actually uh, send them an email and um, perhaps, you know, give feedback on how the website can still be improved and how uh, their advocacy can still be, uh, can still be um, developed further, especially in the context of the Indonesian educational system. Now, moving on. So here, uh, let me just go to the subjects tab. In the subjects tab, you will find here all of the classes or all of the subjects that CK12 has to offer. Previously, they only focused on uh, STEM subjects and math and science, but right now they have expanded uh, their coverage, which already uh, includes social studies, some other specialized topics, and then uh, they also started just recently offering college um, <clears throat> resources. And you also have here for adult education. And as of the moment, I think uh, they have the translations of their uh, content in Spanish, Korean, Deutsch, Chinese, Greek, and Polsky. But fear not because this particular P, uh, um, option here that is powered by Google Later on, we'll see how uh, the content can be translated into Indonesian and can be uh, utilized in your respective classes. Now, what are the other things or other, the resources that CK12 has to offer? So as you can see here, uh, here CK12 has the so-called Flexbooks 2.0 and Flexbooks. So in this Flexbooks, uh, in this Flexbooks, we have here customizable and uh, digital textbooks that are customizable. So let's try and explore this one first. Here, so in Flexbooks, you have here uh, 
you have three options that you can choose from so first i think they have here english and spanish only but fear not because later on the content is actually translatable you use it because it's powered by google so, so for example we'll be using uh we'll be picking algebra math and we'd like to get uh choose those that are in middle school and if we click search flexbook flexbooks we can actually see here all the resources that they have uh, in relation to middle school math. So let's try and click this one. All right. So here we have uh, the CK12. Okay. All right. So as you can see here, um, the page has actually been translated to Indonesian already. Uh, Yuda, are you still there? Can you confirm if what you're seeing is actually in Indonesian? Yes. Okay. This is already in Indonesian language. Right. So let, me just, let me just go back to the English version so that I'll be able to navigate it properly for everyone. So as you can see here in this flex book, we already see the, de uh, the overview of the topics or the concepts that are being taught for this um, subject matter now we can actually customize this in this manner so for example we would like to choose mm -hmm. and then we select customize all right so as you can see here the flex book will show you the title of the flex book and you have here all of the concepts that are taught for this particular subject matter now say for example that you would like to delete um inequalities because at your current in your current um lesson it's not or in your current curriculum it's not applicable you can actually remove that you can also, let's say, for example, we'll remove also surface area and volume. And you can actually add a chapter, a new read or search from the CK12 library to be included in this flexbook. So let's say, for example, that you would like to add a new chapter here, there. Uh, uh, let's try to put inequality again. So there. And from this one. You can actually customize this. Uh, let me let me just search right away for, yeah. So here, let's say for example that you are looking for inequality, and when you created that particular part in your CK12, or when you customize this um, CK12 content. In this flexbook, it's not just going to be uh, limited to the concepts being presented already by the, the book. Now, for example, we would like to add induction and inequalities. We can actually include it here. Add to flexbook. Textbook. All right. There's a, uh, there's a question here by Sinantia. Her question is, is it free of charge? Yes, everything is actually free. And that's the good thing about this platform and uh so just for everyone uh for everyone's information ck12 is actually a foundation as well um and uh, they're a non-profit uh, organization that is based in the us and this is really their advocacy of disseminating content uh to um, especially in stem to educators uh, around the world and be able to access free but high quality content that is usable and very useful and um, engaging for our students. All right, so here going back to the um, flexbook that we are editing, so we can actually change this content, uh, the title of this flexbook, let's say for example, math uh, six, and then we can save there and once you've saved this uh flex book it will bring you to your um to this page 
Yeah, so this is already your um, customized content. All right, so customized Flexbook. And this is now added to the library. So where can I find this material now that I edited? All right, so what I'm going to do is I just need to go back to my dashboard. And click the one that says library. So in the library, I will find here all of the resources that were created by me and all the other uh, content that I tried to use um, from last time. So let me just uh, show you, show this to everyone, this GM Flexbook. Uh, I think I used this flex book when I was still teaching uh, at a senior high school. If I'm not mistaken. I ah, know, sorry. GM. Ah, okay. So this is the grammar and writing um, flex book that I was still creating. Sorry, let me just go back to the, to the library. Oh, by the way. Here, you will be able to see all of the things that you have created as well. For example, uh, in CK12, you can actually create quizzes or tests, evaluation tools. And in these evaluation tools, you can utilize the ready-made questions on the platform, but you can actually also create questions on your own. So later, we'll try to explore those ones. Uh, let me just check. So here, these are the um, the quizzes that I have created. So let me just go to the next page. Here, uh, this is the one that I customized for the use of our tutoring program for the grade 6 uh, kids. As you can see, uh, this was created last 2019. So here, um, all of the items here are, as you can see, are selected content based on the current curriculum that we are following. So for example, if you're in your second term and you're only focusing on, uh, let's say, the four fundamental operations, addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication, I can actually um, edit or customize this content that will allow me to keep only these things. And by the way, they have this so-called offline reader, and you can actually share the customized content to the classes that you've created uh, a while ago. So later on, I will show you some uh, some examples of the classes that I made. Now here, you can actually download a PDF copy, but you cannot download it right there and then. Um, since uh, previous in the past, some years ago, CK12 actually provides a PDF copy of their flexbooks because I tell you guys, their flexbooks are easy to understand and they're very helpful for uh, early or beginner learners um, to be able to grasp the content or the material on their own. Now, uh, as of the moment, uh, the, the PDF downloading option will not provide the teacher an automatic uh, PDF copy, but it will send a notification to CK12 um, telling them or informing them that you have requested for a PDF copy to be downloaded. So the email that you use actually will be the one that uh, CK12 will use in order to send the PDF file that you have, uh, that you've requested to be generated. All right, so, um, <clears throat> For the other stuff, for the other resources here, I uh, would be able to um, view later on some of these in the uh, as I teach, uh, as I show you the classes that I have or that we have utilized so far. But before we go to the classes, let me just um, share to everyone the Certified Educator Program of CK12. Here. So here, um, this is the Certified Educator Program of CK12, but where it offers uh, to, to educators um, 
to know more about the CK12 platform, engage students better, and improve learning. So the Certified Educator Program is online, flexible, and free. Again, guys, this is what we want, right? <laughs> we want resources to be free but of high-quality content. Now, for, for this one, um, unfortunately, for 2021, I have not heard of uh, an opening yet. But um, all you have to do is simply be on the lookout because last 2019 and 2020 they offered a um yeah and on uh like a synchronous style of uh the certified educator program so here you'll be able to join network of educators earn professional development and yeah gain extensive knowledge on the ck12 platform platform i tell you guys it's uh, it's like two years already for me uh as a, as a certified educator program of CK12, but up until now, I am still learning. Uh, and every time I, I'm still at awe on how CK12 is developing their platform to reach out to more students uh, who are unable to, um, yeah, to, to help them. Uh, especially the the ones who are struggling in understanding the content. So as what I have, I'm not sure if I'm violating some. I hope I hope I'm not violating any privacy um, rules. But uh, in Indonesia, as what I've mentioned earlier, there are just two certified educators as of the moment. So uh, perhaps later on, you uh, if you'd like to be more uh, to be part of this program, be on the lookout. And for you to learn more about um, CK, uh, the Certified Educator Program, all you have to do is simply go to this part here for the terms and some frequently asked questions. So in this uh, program, you'll be able to learn how to navigate CK12, a more in-depth approach, and uh, of course, uh, a more in-depth uh, go-through and tour of the website, be able to customize, create flexbooks, integrate the learning management systems. And I tell you, if you're using Canvas or Schoology or Google Classroom, CK12 is very helpful for you. Uh, it, I understand the difficulty and the, the hardship, the challenge in creating evaluation questions. That's one thing that we all teachers are dreading to write and do, correct? So in this, uh, for this platform, CK12, it actually eases the burden, uh, our burden, because we don't have to create anything new anymore because everything is already provided to us but if you are going to take an extra mile of course by all means you can create and uh, your questions your your material and you can even share this to other teachers around the globe all right so now going to the last part of uh, my presentation let me just um show you guys uh, the the classes that i have created before and let me just uh, share to you what are in uh, what what you can find in those classes. Yeah. Hang on, it's just loading for a bit. Okay, there. So let me just show you one of the classes that we have so this year 2021 we have actually started our writing and grammar program uh, so here you can uh, you can see here all of the things that that are needed for a class you have your assignments your reports q and a shared resources members etc oh hang on sorry let me just give you or show you another classroom so that you'd be able to appreciate more that part on reports So right now, I'm giving everyone a quick tour of the platform, but I hope that uh, as uh, when we end this webinar that you'd be able to explore it further and uh, find ways on how this can actually be used in your um, respective schools. So here, we have here the class assignments and some of the available assignments that I have created before actually. So for example, in this session four, I have created an assignment uh, that includes order of operations, multiply and add or subtract numbers, and then exponent. So how do you create assignments in, for your class? So you, all you have to do is simply click that one that says 
uh, create an assignment and it will lead you to this page where all of the subjects uh, in science and math are found. Uh, as of the moment, more of uh, the, the interactive um, items or resources for CK12 are uh, confined with spelling, science, and math. So for example, let's uh, test out geometry. Here, as what I've mentioned earlier, CK12 is a concept, uh, follows a concept-based approach. And of course, it is aligned uh, with the curriculum that is being offered in the States. So it's just loading for a bit because it is actually a bit have uh, my internet is uh, quite slow. All right, here. So for example, here in the basics of geometry, you have 23 cons uh, 22 concepts to choose from. You can, let's say, for example, um, choose the one on angles. Uh, let's say this one. Then you can actually add a quiz to this assignment. So you can create your own quiz. So let's just test this out. Okay, so let me just put here angles. And here you can actually set due dates for students to be able to access and of course um, create your uh, rather when they are able to access and finish the content. Now, if I'm going to click on this one and I'll click the concept that uh, we have selected earlier. So here you'll be able to find those items that are uh, created for this topic on introduction to angle. So here students can actually just read the concepts. Uh, they have resources that are uh, provided here already. We have this video. There are videos that will help uh, students understand the um, concept better, especially the ones who are more auditory. And then we have the Plix. The Plix is the interactive, um, like, uh, portion or a, a, a space where kids can play, learn, interact, and explore the concept. So let's test one out here. So for example, the one on angles. So here there's uh, the introduction and students can actually uh, move these parts here. So it's, uh, it's going to be interactive for, for them. So there, for example, challenge me. There are five challenge questions for them. So for example, select all pairs of vertical angles or refers to the origin, select all that apply. So here in this instance, uh, all right, so here, what are the vertical angles? So you have B, O, C, and A, O, D. So which one is it? A, O, D, and B, O, C. So here, so if you click Submit, so as you can see here, uh, it provides feedback, automatic feedback to the kids on the challenges that they are going to create. So here, I got one out of two correct answers because there is still another answer here. Uh, it's COD and AOB, right? This one. So yeah, that's the Plix for you. And finally, the adaptive practice. This adapt adaptive practice is where um, kids are able to uh, practice their understanding of the concept and also be able to answer questions that will measure their um, skill level for a particular concept. So let me just, uh, let's just show this. So here, as you can see, on top, you have there the one that says skill level to be determined. And the skill level actually has five. Okay. So for example, this one, let's just try to wing the questions here. So that's the first um, question that I have. And notice that on the lower left side of the screen, the students can actually get hints if they are stumped with a particular 
question. So say for example, this one, uh, my answer is wrong. So I can try again. And if I click this one, again, my answer is wrong. So I can actually click the hint and understand what the concept is being asked in the question. So uh, the correct answer here is actually array. Now, because I've answered the question three times or, or I've answered uh, three times already, there's now the skill level meter that is shown on top. All right. So now going back, what else are found in this uh, classroom? You can find here the list of members for your classes. Uh, you'll find here the class teachers, the students, etc. So take note that here you don't just uh, you, you can actually share the class with other teachers. So it encourages um, professional learning communities amongst teachers as well. So you can actually add them as a co-teacher for this class. Now, in adding students, if your students actually has an email already, or have emails already, you can actually invite them by email. But if you don't, if your students do not have emails, you can actually create accounts for them. So it's really um, the the preparation of the classes depends on the teacher, and your students will just have to wait for their accounts to be created. And you know these things are again for free. So. Uh, here, you're, uh, you also have a Q&A portion um, or rather a Q&A tab where students can post their questions and teachers can actually respond and even their peers can respond to questions being posed. Shared resources. This is where, um, say, for example, other uh, re uh, resources from other subject, ma uh, subject areas or classes can be found here. You can share links to readings, videos, and more. And lastly, uh, for this one, is the reports. All right. Oh, by the way, before I forget, let me just go back to the assignment and show you guys how the translation works. Let's see if it works in the um, in the concept. So let me just. Click the language here, Indonesian, and then there. So if you're worried that the website is in English, you don't have to because the website is actually going to translate it into uh, your, uh, into Indonesian. Yeah. Although there. So as you can see, how, how do I read this, uh, Yuda? Latihan klasifikasi sudut. Yes, latihan klasifikasi sudut. All right. So how's the so, so far? How's the Indonesia so far? All right, so there. Okay, going back to the last portion. So let me just share to you what's um, very unique about CK12 is this learning management um, platform. So as you can see here, you'll be able to track all of the practice sets that your uh, students are um, are doing. And you can see their progress. Did they reach 100%? Or uh, yeah, let's just click on this one here. You will see that they are able to get 100% because they have uh, actually answered 10 correct questions already. You will see their skill level, which is, for example, in this kid, it's developing. And then you have, you can actually find here the questions that your students have answered. And what's interesting is that this portion here where there are incorrect um, answers will be now your starting points when you reteach or when you discuss the concept again to them. And what's more, you can actually download the report in an excel file yeah so i think for for uh, you might be a little bit worried uh, oh how will i be able to uh, use this one as a report for my school you can actually download the file 
in CSV format. And then perhaps on this one, let me just uh, click this. So here, you'd be, uh, you'd be able to get also some information on how to read the reports in this uh, CK12 report portion. And also the heat map. The heat map is very useful, especially if you're looking at the range of scores or the percentages that uh, are that correspond to the practices that you have there. All right. So that's it uh, for my presentation of the CK12. And before I end, um, the reason why I really like CK12 is because of their mission. So in CK12, uh, every child should have equal access to great education and all students are unique. Each has a different pace of learning, different interests, and different goals. And however, with limited time and resources, it's a challenge to treat individual uh, students as individuals, right? As for, uh, we have the constructivist theory telling us to be mindful of the individual differences, be mindful of the um, the students' uh, development stages. But then again, for us teachers, it's always going to be a challenge. But here, in CK12. The philosophy is that learning is a personal journey and that this, uh, the foundation who created uh, that created CK12 was founded on the mission or with the mission to enable everyone to learn in their own way. So with high with pair high uh, they pair high quality content with the latest technologies and students are being equipped teachers are being equipped and parents are also equipped with everything they need and the best thing about everything and with all of these is that it's for free and that my friends ends my presentation thank you very much if there are questions i am happy to answer them Okay, thank you, Mr. Kenny. Uh, really, thanks for your sharing, for the powerful tools. I guess this is really powerful, not only for the teacher, but also for the students. Uh, let me conclude some of the material from you today, and hopefully uh, I cannot miss anything. I try. I try my best. Uh, terima kasih Bapak Ibu. Jadi yang telah disampaikan Mr. Kenny uh, merupakan suatu uh, optional tambahan lah ya informasi, tambahan uh, tools yang mana tools ini uh, sangat powerful untuk Bapak Ibu gunakan baik untuk Bapak Ibu mendesain materi, konten untuk buku Bapak Ibu maupun untuk mendesain atau mengorganize uh, kelas dan ini juga uh, baru tahu saya bahwa ada non-profit organization internasional yang memang mendesain pembelajaran atau mendesain uh, learning management system, namanya LMS lah istilahnya, learning management system yang sangat kompleks, di mana ini gratis, tidak ada istilah basic, trial, atau advanced level, itu semuanya uh, memang diberikan cuma-cuma kepada Bapak Ibu yang ingin menggunakan. Lalu yang saya tangkap, Mr. Kenny uh, bercerita tentang konsep konstruktivistik bagaimana siswa dapat mengaitkan konteks belajar dengan kehidupan mereka sehari-hari uh, more kontekstual kalau bisa dibilang lebih kontekstual dan uh, salah satu tadi caranya adalah bagaimana mendesain pembelajaran yang membawa siswa untuk terlibat di dalamnya dengan cara berbagai macam cara dengan kolaborasi misalnya dan dengan melibatkan siswa ke dalam suatu pembelajaran Uh, dan penawaran yang telah diberikan Mr. Kenny terkait dengan uh, aplikasi berbasis web tadi itu sebenarnya saya juga baru udah tahu nih Mr. Kenny, I, I just I just want to confirm that we can easily uh, download uh, Key12 on Chrome. I just check, I just check 
a few minutes ago we can just simply click and find on google chrome so it will be like add-on yes uh so it's a web uh, sorry it's a web-based platform so all you have to do is simply type in the address bar ck12.org and then it will lead you to the website by the way you i saw some questions here in english and uh, i think it's really interesting to uh, to answer all of these so uh, i think uh, there's a question here ck12 is only for math and science i think we've already shown that uh, ck12 is expanding and it has uh, it is offering several um subjects already and it says here is this platform completely free or are there some features that need uh that need to be paid fortunately i have not found any content that i have to pay and so everything is really for free it's uh it's kind of um surprising right it's not all the time that you will uh because say for example in other platforms they offer um Say for example, an editing software, an editing tool, it can be free, but there are certain items that you have to pay so that you can use it. And uh, I think I've seen a question earlier, like I, I want to know, uh, sorry, how, yeah, there was really a, here, using CK12 means that it is more effective because it is integrated platform, isn't it? Uh, this question actually, uh, how the platform can be effective depends on how the teacher will use it in their classroom. Now, uh, the, the platform offers an integrated approach already. So you have there your content. You, uh, you have there all the articles that you can read for, for, the, for the topics. You have the videos that will explain the concept. And actually, it will now take away uh, most of the speaking time of the teacher because things are recorded already students can actually interact with the content just like what i have presented earlier for clicks they can play they can interact with the content and you know see the various combinations um the various uh cases for example in uh, uh the one that we've seen earlier about angles what are the transformations involved so uh any tool any resource material the effectiveness of that really depends on the people using it. So, for example, if you're still, uh, if you are interested in learning um, CK12, I suggest try to spend some time learning the platform. Uh, be more, um, let's uh, get try to, to become a more external. Yes, get used to. Uh, become an expert on this. And there are a lot of videos actually on the platform for teachers that will help you uh, that will help explain what the features are all about so our session is um just a one hour webinar right but uh i can own i can do as much on uh, only when it comes to presenting it to you and uh, i also saw here a uh let me just find that one last question that i really find interesting um it, it had something to do with uh, i think constructive uh, the constructivist approach hang on uh i missed the question can you know, can you help me find the question sorry um okay i think this one so this is in indonesian but i'm gonna translate to in right to okay this one uh Okay, so this question is re uh, in relation to the topic of the book. So the teacher designed the books by using Book Creator. So the question is, they uh, can they you know try to combine some of the resources from CK12 to the book material? Mm -hmm. All right. So, so yeah, uh, interesting question. Actually the ck12 content i think is covered by some copyright uh rules so i'm not really sure if you can just automatically lift the content from ck12 and trans uh, transfer it into your uh online book if you're going to create it in another uh another platform but i think i believe the other way around is possible so say for example you're going to create uh you created a content uh, for 
English uh, in a in a book creating I forgot uh, it, well in other book creating platforms now once you have that you can actually put that in the CK12 platform using the uh, customization um, yeah the customizing flexbook part of, of the of the website and you can actually create also uh, a flexbook from scratch yeah okay uh, i try to translate to indonesian <laughs> mr Cristianto. okay jadi yang di, per, ditanyakan dijawab oleh mr kenny bahwa uh, bapak ibu bisa saja tapi tapi bisa saja malah sebaliknya bahwa buku bapak ibu yang bapak ibu buat di book creator itu bisa di input ke dalam ck12 untuk bapak ibu uh, jadikan bahan untuk bapak ibu mengajar Jadi bisa dijadikan bahan ajar atau media atau sources untuk Bapak Ibu mengajar di CK12 atau CK12. Jadi uh, walaupun saya bisa jawab juga bahwa yang Bapak Ibu ambil di CK12 untuk menjadikan konten itu boleh saja asal Bapak Ibu memasukkan resources atau uh, kutipan Bapak Ibu di dalam buku Bapak Ibu yang Bapak Ibu desain di book creator. Semoga menjawab uh, Pak, Bapak Kris Yanto. So go back to Mr. Kenny again. So I think this one. Okay, let me let, let me find the question. And for the for the parents out there, you can actually utilize the platform for your children, not just for your classes. No, okay. So Jadi you can also juga. As, a, as a homeschooling tool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, tambahan juga bahwa ini tidak hanya bisa diakses oleh guru dan siswa tapi para orang tua dalam rangka mengontrol siswanya atau mendukung pembelajaran di rumah itu dapat dilakukan oleh orang tua jadi ini uh, sepenuhnya juga saya jawab kembali bahwa ini sepenuhnya gratis tidak ada istilah uh, di aplikasi-aplikasi aplikasi lain biasanya ada istilah trial atau ada istilah basic lalu kita harus bayar menjadi premium misalnya Di CK12 ini semuanya totally free karena ini merupakan program dari non-profit organization yang berfokus kepada pendidikan. Semoga dapat uh, menjadi tambahan informasi buat Bapak Ibu. Oke, okay, I think there is no question. Yeah. Uh, Oke, okay. how, how about this one? There is a question from Rizdika. Mm. Can the teacher okay, uh, sign up as a student? Yes, actually, you can. If you are not at the, for for our, if we have viewers who are students right now, so you can actually sign up in the platform as a student. You can also, uh, well, there are certain items that you will not be able to access. Say, for example, the class, uh, some of the classes, but you can actually go still to the website and access the content that CK12 has to offer. Um, if I may, let me just. Perhaps I'll show an example on how uh, how it can be utilized by students. So let me just share my screen. Hang on. I like it. Uh, I really like um, showing things. So uh, all right. So hang on. Um, let me just. Here. Do you guys see my screen? All right. So let me just log out. So I know what log out is. It's Kelua. Clear, <laughs> Kelua. Okay. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to switch to student version. And let's see what students will um will find in the platform if they're just going to sign up as a student. So, for example, Belgabung. I'm learning Indonesian as I am accessing the CK12 content. That's, this is nice. <laughs> this is interesting. I'm learning the, I'm learning the language as well. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, there seems to be a... Hang on. Uh, there seems to be an issue because I'm not supposed to be a teacher. 
uh, I'm supposed to be a student. Hang on. Do you still have time? I'm sorry. Uh, bear with me for a bit. Uh -huh. And I think the difference will be the dashboard, you know? Yes, in the more, side. more or less, yeah. Um, just so you know, we are using this for our uh, tutoring program. And in our tutoring program, we are actually able to uh, just, how to say, uh, yeah, the kids on their own can actually just use uh, the, the platform by themselves. Okay. Okay, while waiting for Mr. Kenny explanation on uh, the student's dashboard, I would like to uh, respond. Yes, please. Uh, the question from Prof. Udan. Apakah bisa di di demokan sedikit tentang integrasi di book creator? Apakah bila di uh, apakah langsung di buku tersebut atau hanya link? Jadi kalau Bapak Ibu ingin mengambil beberapa resources yang ada di sini bisa diambil dengan cara uh, mendownload uh, ininya uh, PDF berupa PDF atau di screenshot saja gambar-gambar tertentu yang Bapak Ibu inginkan atau materi tertentu atau bisa juga dengan via link. Jadi belum ad, belum terintegrasi antara book creator dengan CK12. Uh, Semoga menjawab, Pak. So, let me just share my screen again. Uh, hmm. All right, this one. So, for example, this one, uh, this is already the student sign up. So, if I sign up, so there, you send instructions to your teacher, parent, or guardian to activate your account. So, there need, uh, for, for students, for young people, you need to have your, um, an email for this one, correct? So, what you need to do here is to ensure that uh, you have access to your email. Um, but there is an added protection actually for this one because uh, it's requested or it's highly encouraged that the email being used is the one owned by the parent. So that um, for, you know, child protection issues and all of those things can also be um, considered. So I'm now going back to the home page. Uh, it's taking a while, but Yuda, can you translate for a bit the one that I mentioned? Okay. Uh, ada beberapa hal yang tadi saya coba uh, ulas kembali yang telah disampaikan Mr. Kenny bahwa uh, fitur ini selain untuk Bapak Ibu men mencarikan uh, resources atau sumber Bapak Ibu untuk konten, Bapak Ibu juga bisa gunakan untuk mengajar dan uh, kelengkapannya di sini ada kelas, ada fitur untuk mengerjakan soal atau penugasan evaluasi, lalu ada fitur library atau perpustakaan yang bisa Bapak Ibu uh, temukan beberapa resources atau uh, tambahan. Jadi ini hanya uh, optional untuk Bapak Ibu. And there is a question from Miss Susanti Amalia. I think just simply respond uh, relating to the use of CK12, if the teacher gives material or assignment, is there not is there any notification on the student dashboard or right. email from email? Correct. Uh, nice. Good question. Actually, there is. Uh, once the student or once the teacher puts up an assignment already, uh, that as you can remember earlier, we have uh, we have to put up the dates, right? The start date and the end date of the 
of the um, um assignment. of the assignment. Yes, sorry, I'm losing, I'm losing track of my words. Uh, there is a start date for the assignment. So on the day that it is set, it will become available on the student's um, dashboard. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Miss Susanti Amalia, jadi uh, akan ada notifikasi tergantung dari uh, set yang Bapak Ibu atur, set tanggal pengumpulan, set tanggal due date-nya, dan lain-lain itu akan muncul di dashboard para siswa. Jadi uh, akan ada notifikasi. Semoga terjawab, Bu Susanti. Are there still some questions because it seems that I am uh, uh, having difficulty uh, accessing I'm this account? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, there is a question from Dewi, Bu Dewi Apriliana. I want to know how is your experience in using this platform, your your own experience, Mr. Ken. Right. So, um, I've started using this one for uh like more in a more uh long term manner, um, since the start of the pandemic last year, and so far we really had a good um turn out uh, when it comes to the students participation um we've seen how they progress from one lesson to another and because of our current setup the the games that we were able to see are actually the the, the social aspect of of learning so parents and um children because they are stuck at home because of the quarantine, they are able to have a more solid partnership in terms of the students' journey, a learning journey. Now, one some of the feedbacks that we received is that the lessons were easier to understand. Uh, it's fun to interact with the content, and also uh, parents mentioned that it created a bonding time with the with them and their. Um, as you call this their their children so in that in that manner they are able to have this um better connection a, a partnership so to speak where the child is accountable for his learning but the child knows that the parent is there uh guiding them and be able to you know assist them when it comes to certain difficulties along the way we know that the teachers uh, right now it's quite hard to interact with the children right so the, the the development that is being done or happening at home is what we see as the gains of using this particular platform yeah. okay let me uh, conclude uh, Mr. Kenny said, okay, Mr. Kenny mengatakan bahwa sudah cukup lumayan lah lama menggunakan aplikasi ini dan ter terkhusus pada saat pandemi yang memang memaksa para pelajar untuk ada di rumah, untuk belajar di rumah. Justru yang dirasakan Mr. Kenny dalam mengajar itu terbangunnya koneksi antara siswa dengan orang tua justru dikarenakan si siswa juga merasa bahwa mendapatkan uh, bimbingan dari orang tua karena ada menu untuk orang tua untuk masuk untuk mensupport untuk memantau dari aktivitas uh, siswa tersebut jadi siswa justru uh, dapat belajar dengan secara sadar dalam uh, proses pembelajarannya dan itu yang, yang bisa dilihat dari pengalaman Mr. Kenny semoga menjawab uh, Bu, Bu Dewi tadi ya, Bu Dewi. And there is a question also from Bapak Susat, Susatio ya, Susatio Erlambang. I think this question is in English. My question, yeah. Mr. Kenny, CK12 same like Google Classroom from from Google? Hmm. Well, to some 
for some elements, yes. But in Google Classroom, you'll be able to uh, have an interaction with your with your students, right? You can pose questions. You can uh, have a uh, an interaction uh, as regards perhaps um, burning questions for your kids or for your uh, for your students. And also in Google Classroom, it creates the productivity suite of Google. You have your sheets, you have your forms or survey, you have your PowerPoint, etc. Um, the different thing perhaps with this, uh, with CK12 is that uh, uh, the content is uh, free for most parts. And then the classes, um, you don't have to, let's say, do some file uploading for for your materials to be uploaded. You don't have to um, create new stuff or let's say, for example, uh, your, your text appendment paper. So everything is in the system already. Yeah, I, I hope I, <laughs> I'm able to answer the, the question. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. Uh, terima kasih, Ms. Uh, Mr. Kenny, for, the, for your answer. Jadi Pak Susatyo Herlambang, uh, mungkin ada beberapa kesamaan atau serupa dalam hal kelas. Jadi untuk kelas dia serupa. Tapi untuk uh, integrated dengan uh, materi yang kita desain sedemikian rupa di CK12, justru lebih kaya. Dikarenakan di situ Bapak juga bisa mendesain uh, buku yang tidak ada di Google Classroom. Dan buku tersebut juga bisa di custom, bisa di custom oleh Bapak Ibu. Dan buku tersebut juga uh, sangat terintegrasi dengan CK12. Sedangkan Google Classroom belum memiliki fitur tersebut. Jadi jadi itu mungkin tambahan dari uh, Mr. Kenny untuk menjawab Bapak Susatyo. Terima kasih Pak Susatyo. Alright. So for this one, um, I already have here in uh, the student account okay so as you can see if i click on classes i will be able to see this portion it's different it's a different setup right it's a different dashboard than what you saw earlier for the for the teacher account but then if you click on the classes you will not Okay. You will only see those things that are uh, already available. So, for example, in this one, the student is a member of the writing and grammar class, but there are no concepts as yet. So, this means to say that the teacher hasn't assigned any yet. But the child can actually explore other programs, uh, sorry, concepts and topics and the child is still able to access all those free resources. So here, the child is uh, will be able to still continue learning some other concepts, even if the class, the class uh, dedicated to it, it doesn't have any assigned assignment yet or any assignment yet. So for example, here, that is free to explore the concepts on their own. So if you click on subjects as well, You'd be able to see all the subjects that are offered. If you click explore, you'd also be able to see all of these other things as well. All right. Okay, so I hope okay. that uh, answered earlier about student access. Yes. Okay, thank you, Mr. Kenny. So I think it's already answered all of the question. Yes, yes I think I think so. Okay. Uh, mungkin saya tambahkan sedikit. Jadi uh, demo tentang dashboard student, start, uh, dashboard pelajar atau siswa itu sudah uh, ditampilkan barusan yang memang mungkin sedikit berbeda dengan dashboard uh, guru. Karena guru dashboardnya lebih lengkap dan tapi tidak menutup kemungkinan juga siswa dapat mengeksplor beberapa subjek-subjek yang lain. Jadi tidak terbatas juga untuk mengakses beberapa fitur-fitur resources di dalam CK12. Semoga menjawab Ibu Ibu siapa tadi ya? Ibu Ibu Sintia kalau nggak salah ya? 
Okay, uh, I think that's all, Mr. Kenny. We have already answered all of the questions. So I also want to really thanks, super thanks for your participation for these meetings. And hopefully we can meet again on the other session. Okay. All right. So it's uh, uh, in chair so club platform to the Indonesian teachers, and I hope you find uh, the value and the beauty of this um, website. So uh, yeah, us and good. That's been. Yes, have a good day. Thank you, Mr. Kenny. So maybe I'm going to respond some of the questions from, from some of the particip participants here. Um, ya, untuk yang sulit mengakses kolom kehadiran, Bapak-Ibu bisa me mencoba mengcopy atau menulis ulang dengan cara menuliskan huruf besar dan huruf kecil sesuai dengan yang ditampilkan. Semoga... Uh, menjawab ya Bapak Ibu masalah uh, presensi dan hmm. untuk masalah buku tadi buku Bapak Ibu uh, tetap dibuat atau didesain di book creator namun ini adalah bagian dari uh, optional atau tambahan alternatif untuk Bapak Ibu mencari resources dan bahkan untuk Bapak Ibu mengajar juga bisa karena ini merupakan aplikasi berbasis web yang bisa diakses oleh Bapak Ibu dan Mungkin rekomendasi dari saya, mungkin Bapak Ibu juga bisa mendownload uh, dengan Chrome. Jadi dengan Chrome itu ada istilah add-on, di klik add-on aja Bapak Ibu bisa masukkan dan download uh, CK12 tadi untuk Bapak Ibu gunakan dalam mengajar. Sekian uh, materi hari ini, semoga bisa menjadi tambahan informasi untuk Bapak Ibu dan dapat berguna untuk kita semua, baik untuk Bapak Ibu mengajar maupun untuk menggali banyak sumber-sumber konten untuk Bapak Ibu dalam hal menulis buku di Book Creator. Sekian dari saya, saya mengucapkan terima kasih dan mewakili seluruh panitia mengucapkan uh, terima kasih yang sebesar-besarnya kepada Mr. Kenny and also all of the participants in this uh, meetings. Dan saya mengucapkan juga uh, mohon maaf jika ada kesalahan dalam penyampaian. Wabili topik wal Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Selamat sore, salam sejahtera buat kita semua.